Hi, Libby from C Chats here. Google Tasks, how do we use them? Why do we use them? What are the benefits? All right, I'm just gonna get right into it and show you. So I'm gonna share my screen on my personal calendar here and you guys are gonna see all my stuff. All right, so I use Google Tasks. I have my schedule and my time blocks all set here. Um, and what I do is I have certain tasks that are recurring. Like every day I set my priority, which is a list of priorities, but one priority at a time. And I put those in order. So every morning I go in here. So if you missed that, um, to access your tasks in your Google Calendar, there's that little checkbox on the side there, and that's how you add, add them and see the ones that you've done. Now you can see here, you can show your completed ones. I like to hide my completed tasks because they're no longer of interest to me. All right, so you can see my tasks all lined up here. If I'm gonna add a task to my calendar, I'm gonna put, let's see, record tutorial, let's say. Okay, so I have that added as a task on my calendar. Let's say I wanted to, sh uh, on my task list, it is not yet on my calendar. Let's say you wanted that on your calendar. And you can see, I'm gonna close this here for a second. So you can see I have tasks. They show different than events. What I showed in the time blocking video, if you haven't watched that, um, go back, watch that. So the time blocks are set up, but now I wanna add tasks. Then I want some of them to show up uh, during my day. Like right here, I have, one, you can see they're in blue and they have the check mark. See chat's episode release post. All right. If you want them to show in your calendar, you assign it a specific day and time. Let's say I want to record that today at 11 p.m. There you go. All right. So let me go back to the current week. All right. And there it is. It showed up because I assigned it a specific day and time. It will show up on your calendar. If you want to make it recurring, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a separate tutorial on the recurring tasks in Google because you can see I have a lot of them set up here. So this is how I use them for very specific things that will be done once. Um, I use it to keep track of my daily priorities. And I will put down here like um, ship when I wake up in the morning, list, uh, record, whatever the things I need to do will get on that priority list there for the day. So that is a recurring task. Um, today, my weekly accounting and payouts, that repeats every week, done, accomplished, um, relist canceled items. I had done that. All right, now this is one that I also have recurring every day, Slight Edge, which is a book we've done in the C Chats book club. I have all of the things that I spend five minutes on every single day. And I just put a little heart after the ones I've completed when I've completed them. And I use that every day, occurs every day on my calendar. I just take the hearts out and add them back in as I complete things. And then you can check it off. All right. And then I have, this is a great way I love to use the task list. This is a huge hack here. And I think this deserves a video all of its own, but I'm going to tell you guys it anyway. All right. So some people call it like a brain dump. All right. Like, so, you know, you're working, right. And like, all of a sudden you have this great idea and you want to, you know, you know, you have to take care of it. So instead of getting off task and going down a rabbit hole, what I do is I add it to my mind sparkle list. Like I have an idea for a YouTube video like you can see on, on here. I have uh, an American bubble boy promotion I'm going to do. I need to take, make an avoid appointment for, to take my animals to the vet. Like all these random thoughts that pop into your head throughout the day can go on that just that task list. So that way you're not chasing, you know, you're not chasing things down throughout the day. 
And when you have one of these ideas, you don't want to lose it. Uh, people use different things. I like it here in my Google Calendar because that's where I do my scheduling. If you do it on a notepad, I know Samantha uses her calendar. But just to have something like that because it's so easy, um, especially in this business, we don't want to lose an idea. We are generally a very creative, like we love new things. We love shiny objects. We love all these things. But don't let them lose your focus. Put them on the task list, write it down, and you will get back to it when you have time. All right, so that is the basics of tasks. I'm going to do another video, which I will link up, and that is going to be all about adding recurring tasks on your Google Calendar. I'll run through adding a couple of them to my calendar, and hopefully this has been helpful in getting your schedule laid out, organized, and making the most of your time. Thank you.